Carmelo Anthony, um, we all know he joined the Houston um, Rockets this year. You know, last year he was with the uh, Oklahoma City Thunder. That didn't go so well playing with Russell Westbrook, and he was alongside with Paul George. Um, you know, and a lot of people kind of made excuses for uh, Carmelo Anthony last year, saying that Russell Westbrook, you know, he hauled the ball so much that, you know, Carmelo Anthony could not get off. And, you know, he, Carmelo Anthony was the third wheel. He was, you know, you know, coming off the bench sometimes and, you know, just wasn't showing up. And, you know, and people blame it all on Russell Westbrook. But my thing is this. What was the excuse when, when um, Carmelo Anthony, his last couple of years or three years when he was with the Knicks, you know, when his production was going down, majorly was going down, you know, rebounds, points, assists, and all that stuff was going down. And, yes, he's with the Houston Rockets with Chris Paul. And, yes, I do agree with Ticket TV on this. He does do – Carmelo Anthony does much better when he has a point guard with him. But earlier when he got with uh, when he was with the Knicks, he had Jason Kidd. He did well. He did. He had Chauncey Billups in Denver. He did well. So yes, he does do well when he has a point guard, you know, with him alongside of him. But let's not get it twisted. Carmelo Anthony, you know, he has been declining over the last three years. He's not the same player he was in Denver. He's not even the same player he was earlier with the Knicks. When he was with the Knicks, when he first came to the Knicks, he was much better than he is now. You know, but uh, Carmelo Anthony does, you know, he does have something left in the tank. Uh, he's not a, a guy that can be the number two or number uh, one option on your team anymore. Yes, he, to me, he could be, a, he, he's still good enough to be a third option on the team, a really good team, a really good playoff team. But to go back and forth and, you know, every game to say, well, he did, get, did good this game, did good last game. Is this where we at right now that we're going to, you know, judge of what game he, from game to game, did he do good? Did he do bad? Because he's going to have an up and down year. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, Carmelo Anthony does have something left. But, you know, like with Stephen A. Smith being on ESPN, talking about Carmelo Anthony is Carmelo Anthony. Listen, Carmelo Anthony never played defense. He never he, did, he didn't even play defense in the era where, where they were playing defense. He came in in 2003. He wasn't even playing defense when he when he came in. He, he is what he is. He's a scorer. He doesn't make anybody else better. He's not a playmaker. Uh, he doesn't rebound at a high clip. He never really rebounded at a high clip for his size and his height. You know what I'm saying? And his uh, physicality. He never really rebounded at a, a high clip. But, uh, yes, he has to have, you know, the right pieces around him. And he has that in Houston. Now, what he's going to be judged on in Houston is what the whole Houston team is going to be judged on. They're going to be judged on what can they do this year versus last year. Because, yes, they lost Trevor Ariza. They lost uh, Bob Mute. They lost a lot of their defensive presence. And they brought in Carmelo Anthony, who doesn't play defense, right alongside with James Harden, who doesn't play defense. You know what I'm saying? Chris Paul is the only one really left there. And, what, uh, the other guy, they, they're the only ones left there that really plays defense. So, like I said, Carmelo Anthony is, is still a guy that can you, you can get something out of. But... Is he that guy that was in New York where was Russell Westbrook really hold him back? No, he was on the decline. You know what I'm saying? He's been on the decline for the last three to four years. Let's go look at his stats, man. Let's go look at his stats. So, and yes, uh, Carmine Anthony was a, a tremendous scorer, you know, early in his career. Uh, I even thought he should have won Rookie of the Year uh, uh, versus uh, LeBron James in 2003. I thought because his team got in the playoffs, that was a deal breaker. They both had a really good year. But Carmelo Anthony got his team in the playoffs. And um, LeBron James didn't make the playoffs for his first couple years in the season. I mean, in, in, um, in his career. And Carmelo Anthony was going to the playoffs in the West. In the West, yes, the West was harder then. The West is harder now. The West was more competitive then. And it's more competitive now. And yes, Carmelo Anthony, to me, should have got more, you know, he, he, he should have got more credit for getting his team in the playoffs as a rookie. But, like I said... Uh, Carmelo Anthony going to have an up and down season because he's declining. He's not the same player. So to go back and forth, from, it's, it's, look, it's only about, what, five, six games into the season and people going back and forth with the Lakers or what they're doing, what LeBron doing. Look, man, let this stuff play out because the truth is going to come out uh, uh, during the season. And, can't, and I said that the Houston Rockets are going to take a step back this year and they are going to take a step back. They're not going to win as many games they did last year, and they may not get back to the Western Conference Finals. I'm telling you, they may not get back to the Western Conference Finals. And people say, well, uh, nobody plays defense uh, in the NBA. Well, that doesn't mean <laughs> you don't play defense. 
that's not a that's not an excuse for for uh Houston Rockets not playing no defense. That's not an excuse for Milwaukee Bucks not playing no defense. That's not an excuse for Denver or LA not playing no defense. Hunker down and play some team defense. Play team defense. You know, a lot of people can't play uh man to man defense. I understand that. Well, implement a system where y'all can play team defense where y'all communicate on the court. Everybody coming up with this excuse, well, man, don't nobody play defense nowadays because nobody's trying to play defense. That's why nobody's putting out the effort because it takes effort to play defense. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't take a sh- extreme talent to play defense and athleticism. It takes effort, a lot of effort to play defense. There's been a, been a lot of good defensive players. Bruce Bourne, for one, Bruce Bourne was not a tremendous athlete. He just was a smart effort defensive player. He put the effort in. All you do is put the effort in. Carmen Anthony could Carmen Anthony is a better athlete than um, Bruce Bourne was in his career. But he never put the uh you know what I'm saying the time in on the other end of the floor to play defense. He just never did that. So uh let me know what y'all think, man. Subscribe to the channel, man. I'm out.